Hello everybody, good morning, good evening or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Hope you're all well. Um, today, we have made it back up to the yard from Tewkesbury and then we've had to collect our movement order for today. Because we are carrying some wee wide loads around, just shunting them from Cannock over to Tipton. That is our day. I'm not sure how many cabins we've got to move in total. Um, we have done cabins before on the channel and I wasn't 100% sure about how much I could film. So I'll do as much as I can to keep you all informed about what we're doing. So if you look over there, those are the cabins we'll be shifting, stuff like that. They're um, just a tiny bit wider than the trailer. They're not over three and a half meters. So um, yes, we are over in Cannock where they actually make them by the looks. I just watched a guy pull one out on um, on an electric pump truck so shows how simple they are to maneuver and light so yes it's going to be an interesting day i'll try and get as much filmed as i can it might be a short vlog it might be a long vlog i don't know yesterday's video is going to be uh, edited on the laptop that's why there was no vlog on monday um if you do look back in yesterday's videos though there will be a live stream where we made a beautiful stir fry um beef chili stir fry it was so that was a nice chill out with you all thank you for those that have joined it and thank you if you do go and check that out so i'm having a 15 minute break here while i can the crane isn't even set up yet so should have a little bit of a wait now while they get everything up and running and sorted i've made it here on time which is the main thing uh the gods were a bit stressing that uh get there on time make sure you get there on time and we got here with 10 minutes to spare so yes all going well um i'm not sure whether once we've done our day's work we'll be going anywhere else we might be going back to the yard and then going home or alternatively we'll be uh dieseling up and getting ready to run down the road with a space for delivery i don't know we'll have to play it by ear i will speak to you all when we're loading or loaded All right, so they're just setting up the crane now, so that's gave us time to give our cinders a bit of a polish. You'll be able to see it in the gap. Where is it? It's in the gap over there, but um, I was hoping to give her some wax. I was going to put some more fast wax on her, but it's raining again now anyway, so we've got her clean for now. I'll put some wax. Um, put some chrome embellish on about a month or two ago and it is still beading nicely on the paintwork however it could do with an update so I bought some of the chrome fast wax so I'm going to give that a try see how that comes out but I'm going to have to wait till I've polished it and dried it again before I put that stuff on never mind he's just come and said about 10 more minutes and then we'll be good to start loading lovely Right, that's the first one. There's a total of eight to be done today. Um, if there's only one other lorry, that means four each. Obviously, if there's more trucks, then there'll be less for me to do, but we'll see. I'm gonna chuck three straps over her, and then let's get on the road. We're only taking them over to Tipton. Short hop away. Let's go. All right, as you can see behind me, that is our first one delivered and um, while I was on the way down here I've recorded a separate POV video that'll be coming out to the channel as soon as I've got it back on the laptop and edited it all edited, edited it all together so um, yeah we went through we went down the motorway and then we cut through Wensbury the movement order that we've got doesn't specify specify a specific route it just says that we can use the motorways and any suitable roads necessary so i'm just going to use the bathroom and then we're going to go back and get another one hopefully there's a couple more drivers working with me today um i think there's eight that's got to be shifted all together and the more drivers that are working with me, the less I've got to move. So we'll see how many more we've got to do, shall we? 
All right, we are back in Cannock, waiting for the guys to finish their breakfast. Um, and also, there's one of the uh, K transport drivers in as well. So he's about to get loaded. So we've whacked her on break. We're gonna have another 15 minutes or maybe even half an hour, depending how long they take. So we're gonna do some dinner. Um, those of you who watch the live streams will know that when I live stream, I generally do my cab cooking during the live streams. Um, one or two people in real life have commented saying that um, I should do videos when I'm cooking instead um, incorporate it into a separate cab cooking kind of video now other youtubers do do this uh, Mark Dring has got a channel he does it and also Luke Vernon used to do it I don't think he does it anymore he doesn't seem that bothered with YouTube anymore um, so let me know what you think. If you want me to do a few cab cooking videos where they're more narrated as opposed to interacting with you, um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll, I'll look at doing something like that. But the main reason I do the cab cooking live streams is to interact with you lot when I've parked up and I've got uh, nobody to talk to. <laughs> but anyway, we're just gonna do some uh, German salami and cheese selection cobs. Um, simple really. I've got Phyllis, Phyllis down below here with some uh, butter in, and I'm simply just going to make cobs. It's not, it's not rocket science. I think that's one of the reasons I've steered away from doing cooking videos as opposed to live streams. The live streams are pretty straightforward. It's just something in the background that gives a bit of context to what I'm doing while I'm talking to you all. However, if I was just on my own and like narrating and guiding you how to do stuff, I don't think it would be hard for me to do it without seeming in intimidating. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone knows how to boil an egg. Everyone knows how to make a cob. Everyone knows how to make a stir fry. So like I say, just let me know in the comments if it's something you want me to work on by all means if enough of you want me to I will make a bit of a cab cooking series for you all so anyway dinner time speak to you in a bit when we reloaded okay there's the second one we're gonna do the same again only this time the middle strap I've put straight through the floor I could do all three like that but I've never done it like that before so I'm a bit apprehensive at first so I'm just gonna go over the top with the next two and then it's a rinse and repeat all the way over to Tipton, sorry. And then back here again for the last one, hopefully. Hey, isn't she pretty? We've, um, I don't know if I said in the previous clip, but we've had to wait for them to move one of the uh, cabins out of the way. And subsequently, we've been here half an hour now, fortunately, so we've cleared our drive time. They did tell me in advance that I might have to wait, so I whacked it on brake. Haven't been doing anything. And, um, yes, Cinderella's looking a bit dirty again, but it's only a few smears off the uh, rain. Nothing that'll come off with a decent wesh and a wipe. Um, I think we have confirmed that it is going to be the last one for me today, as they're just taking it up now. Uh, I'm not going to film them while they're putting it all straight back on. They did say it'll be okay, but it looks like it's a, it's got sides on this time and I'm going to have to keep an eye on those uh, panels that are dropping. Is it guttering or a strip of something? I hope I haven't got that one. I don't want that one. It's all yakky. <laughs> now we'll have to pull it off and um, make sure nothing else is going to fall off it. And then that should be us done for today, hopefully. It'll be back to the yard, dieseled up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast, CJC, not so fast. You may have done the day's work for K's, but just as you anticipated, they are gonna send you down the road, which is absolutely awesome. We're gonna be heading down 
back to the yard now and then we're gonna go diesel up and pick up pick up a trailer that is already loaded for Bodmin so we are on about six hours driving now leaving us about three hours to get back to the yard and down as far as we can within the uh, nine hours driving so sorry dearie it's going to be another night out tonight but um we'll still be bringing home the bacon at least now i can go thank you all for watching and i'll speak to you all soon